It's Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Um, I'm outside. I'm going to try, I have an experiment, another experiment to do with the solar panel. And I think I'm going to try to do that antenna comparison I was talking about. So first, my trailer hitch adapter. I have this extension on here so I can have the tailgate now. If I just slide it in, there's no reason to pin it. Fiberglass mast. Put that in there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a PV a piece of PVC that I pounded in there uh, to reduce the diameter. Uh, that's never coming out, um, but it keeps the uh, the antenna from wiggling. And it has these guy rings on here. I put them on there in case I ever need them. Um, I haven't yet. And I probably won't. I, I probably should just take them off, but oh well. My little ammo can organizer here. So I'm going to put the dipole up on the pole like I had it. And I'm going to put my end fed in this tree over here behind me. First thing is to stretch these puppies out. Let's use... This is a uh, LMR 240, I believe, 25 feet. So I'll use this for the mast. There we go, there's like 25 feet. And just for giggles, let's take a look at the SWR meter. So there it is at 7200. Let's go up to 72. There's 7250, 1.1 to 8. So the antenna is resident on the higher end of uh, 70, uh, 40 meters, I mean. I'm going to use my little throw line cube instead of digging everything out of my little bag there because that's a pain in the butt. So um, there's a tree right here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set my end fed up in an inverted V as well, just like this antenna. Uh, about the same height uh, this little tree right here behind us and I think uh, and then I think that'll give us a good comparison so I have the end fed set up in an inverted feed I have the feed point about two two or three feet off the ground and the end uh, about the same distance off the ground at uh, 7 200 I'm at 1.6 let's go up again to 7250 7250 1.7. So this is on the end fed. 5-5. He's 5-4. Me and Jackie. Let's try the other antenna. Definitely a little louder. About an S unit maybe? Not even? It, it's fluctuating? So, it does sound louder, but on the meter it's not showing really that much. This is the Hurricane Watch Net. 
S3 on the end fed. Now he's much louder right now, anyhow, on the dipole. Nope, the die pulls louder in this situation. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, I did tune it. Uh, what time did you notice all that? So I had to tune the end fed, I forgot, so it wasn't a fair comparison. The end fed is just as loud as the die pull now. And the dipole is a little louder on this one. That they're both good antennas. And I'd be I would use either one, but my preference is still going to be my NFET antenna. Um, because I get multiple bands, I don't have to make any modifications when I want to change bands. Um, it's much easier to make my NFED to add a, a single piece of wire to my NFED to make it good for 80 than trying to make an 80 meter link dipole and stretch it out even further. Um, the end fed to me is easier to put up than the dipole is. Uh, it all fits on one wire winder instead of two wire winders and a ballon. Um, I know there's antennas like the uh, the pack tenna. The pack tenna in the, in the link dipole would be good. Um, I'm sure I'm sure it's good. It's just a matter of preference, I think, at this point. It's whatever your um whatever works good for you. Uh, the NFED has been working good for me. The only thing I think I'm gonna change with the NFED is I'm going to go with a little bit heavier gauge wire. I've done a little bit of playing around tonight with both antennas, and um, I've come to a decision. Okay. Oh. No, I'm busy. I see you. I see you. Give me that. No, no, that's right. Get your butt on the camera. Get your butt on the camera. He's not going to leave me alone. Lay down. Come on, lay down. Hey, this way. This way. No, down here. And he just snapped my antenna line. <laughs> okay, going handheld here. So, since he just snapped my uh, antenna line, I'm going to use that heavier line that I was just talking about. 
So as you can see, this is the soda beams line, and this is the the line that I have, and I'm not sure what gauge that is. I can't see it, but I, this isn't 14. Um, it's probably 18 or something like that, but it's very flexible line. It's actually, uh, I'm stealing it from another antenna I have. I've measured it out, it goes up the driveway. Um, this antenna is about 60, with the soda beams wire, it was about 64 feet long. With this wire, I'm gonna cut it long, obviously. Um, I'm gonna cut it probably to about 66, 67 feet. And then I'll set it up and I'll scan it, see where it's at and cut it if I have to, trim it down. But. Uh, Yep, so that's what we're going to do now um, to fix this antenna. And all of this should fit on a wire winder. Like I said, it's probably going to it's going to be a little bit more weight, but it's not going to be that noticeable in my pack. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit more durable than the soda beams wire. Although if the dog, I'd rather the wire break than the dog break, if you know what I mean. But uh, I'll just be more careful. So. Okay, so I have the new wire on the end fed. I just did a sweep. I don't know if you can see, but I am way too long. But that's good, it's better than being short. So now I need to drop it down and start trimming until I get my SWR where I want. Okay, here's where I'm at. At 7200, my SWR is 1.05. And the sweep looks excellent. Let's check 20 meters. 14,285. Let's see. 1.46. Actually, it dropped. So, one point, about less than 1.3. Let's check. 28,340, which is my club's 10 meter, where my club's 10 meter net is. And it's right around 1.5. Again, the, the wire's a little short for this, but that's okay. I'd rather be re more resident on 40 meters because that's where I do most of my contact. So I'm happy with that tune. Uh, I checked the dog before I checked my antenna and the dog's fine. Uh, she, he probably didn't even feel it when he hit that wire, um, but he snapped the wire off. Um, but now I got the antenna set up with that little heavier wire. Now to see if it fits on the wire winder, that'll be the next step. Um, and that's it. I'm going to keep the link dipole because I think for situations where I want to use it on the mast on the back of the truck, it might actually be very useful for that those instances. But when I'm out in the field, I'll be sticking with my uh, 49 to 1 NFED that I've done a video on. I'll be curious to see how the little bit thicker wire does to see if it makes any difference. Well, I did want to say that I measured the amount of wire that I cut off the antenna. Now I cut the antenna for 67 feet with this wire. This is a 49 to one, like I said many times, and I cut the wire for exactly 67 feet. I cut off five feet, two inches. So um, 61 feet, 10 inches. And here it is all wound up on a soda beams wire winder. Again, that's uh, almost 52 feet of wire. And it looks good. Now I need to cut an additional piece for 80 meters. That'll be the uh, the next step in the evolution because I always occasionally do need 80 meters. And it'll be nice to have for a field day and other events. Um, so yep, there it is. This is going in my pack. I'll have to weigh it and see how much more it weighs than the old antenna. But uh, nope, we're good for now. This is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Thanks for watching. Take care. Tango Oscar Mike.